Welcome, fellow masters. My name is Musaki, and today we are going over February's episode of Clairvoyancy X. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Hopefully you got your chocolates ready and a sweetheart in mind, because we're gonna go over everything in the month of February in FGO. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump into it. Now, before we get started, I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor of tonight's video, by E. That's right, our friends at Baie are back and they're gonna offer you the same fantastic service that they promise to you every time. Whether that be delicious treats, amazing figures, voluptuous dojins, then this is the spot for you. Baie is a proxy shipping site that allows you access to many Japanese websites that you normally would not have access to. You go ahead and pick and choose what you want from each website and then they'll ship all of those items directly to you. The more you buy, the best it is for you so it's only one shipping cost instead of a lot of small ones. So if you have something that you're interested in, you're in luck because if you click the link down in the description and in the pinned comments, you'll actually get 2,000 yen off of your first purchase. That is is amazing that is equivalent to 20 US dollars. So if that sounds like something you would like to take a part of, go ahead and click that link down in the description and in the pinned comment and get your 2,000 yen off your first purchase today. Trust me, you won't regret it. Now back to the video. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the items available with the February exchange ticket. Soundless Bell. Shell of Reminiscence, and Small Bell of Absolution. These are gonna be your three options for the month. Make sure you log in every single month and take advantage of the free materials. Next event on the docket, we have the next Holy Grail Front. So this one's gonna be run by all the Roman servants and it's gonna function very similarly to the first time we had this event. Each day for the next seven days, you're going to have new Grail Front battles that you can unlock. And of course, just like the last time, every time you complete a battle you'll get a piece of a holy grail seven pieces equals one holy grail which means another grail you can give to your lovely servants i go over these changes specifically in a grail front 101 video that'll be coming out soon but until then let's go over the differences between this event and the last time it came this time around the new changes are enemy servants can now have craft essences equipped on them. Enemy servants no longer have different action limits. Now they will follow the usual three actions max per turn limit that the player has. They're gonna function just like you. Defensive buffs will no longer have his turn count reduced by one on the next turn. If the enemy is defeated or when the battle turn limit reaches zero so that it can be carried on to the next battle, that's gonna be a very good change. So make sure that if you have a defensive buff, you put it on. If you can defeat your enemy, it will stay there until the next battle instead of disappearing. Very good change. Lastly, buffs and debuffs that activate after one turn will activate on the next battle if there are no more turns left for this battle. Again, very good change and same reasons as the one I listed above. We should also have some new items in the rare Mana Prism shop, mainly being the Olympic Bloomers for Nero Claudius. This is a costume that was only available for a limited time, but now, so long as you have five rare Mana Prisms, you can go ahead and get that. As well as we have two strengthening quests, one for Bodica and another for Caligula. Bodica's change coming to her battle continuation, which is normally just a guts for one time or five turns, now turning into Battlefield Provisions A+. Now grants one ally guts status for one time and increases their max HP for five turns. The cooldown has also been reduced by one turn. And then we have Caligula which their Noble Phantasm has been updated. So now it will actually reduce the enemy's defense by 30% for three turns. Now I also believe there's supposed to be some sort of animation update, but they've been pushing this out fairly often. So I do not believe that there'll be any new changes. These animation updates should be in the game. And if they're not, they will be at it now. Next up, we have something sweet in store for you. That's right, it's the Valentine's Day event. Coming back once again, and this time it is featuring the goddess of love Amor, also known as Karen. If you know Fate Hollow Ataraxia, you will know that this character makes her debut there. It is the daughter of Kire Kotamine. So you gotta know she has some issues, but she is the god of love here, and hopefully she will come to your Kalia if you summon. She is a quick base ruler that is actually very good if you build around her. I would not recommend her to every single person, but you, if you are a fan and you actually have the means to do so, definitely go ahead and roll for Amor. 
Poor Karen. Not only that, but she will not be the only one that will have a banner during this time. As usual with every single Valentine's Day, you will see every single permanent and story lock female servant showing up on a banner. Now, please note, and I will mention this in the Valentine's Day guide, but the banners will be different because we have the pity system as of now. Whereas before in JP, when this event came out, the pity system wasn't implemented just yet. So the banners function differently. Now with the pity system installed, the banners are probably gonna function just like the Tyra one did, where there'll be several banners running at the same time and you choose the one that you wanna roll for. And lastly, for the last part of the month, we have the next download campaign featuring Arthur Pendragon prototype. Yes, this saber is coming back very close to white day, I might add, and it is your chance to get a tons and tons of bonuses. As usual, you will have your normal login bonus affair as well as extra missions. This one is the levels of the servants. If you level up any of these servants up to there, you get more saint courts. Congratulations, super easy to do. Just leveling up a servant all the way up is fine. Three of them to get all the saint courts. You also have additional extra missions, such as defeating Lancer enemies, super large enemies, chaotic neutral good enemies, divine enemies, and bringing one or more saber enemies, as well as clearing all those quests to get five star experience cards. And look at that, one faux paw print. But that's not all. Not only do we have servants and craft as a level up, it's a fourth of the QP cost. Great and super success, as well as twice the rate, servant strengthening quest being half off, and double friend points. Literally the perfect time to make some CE bombs. And if you want a video on CE bombs, please leave a comment down below. Let me know. I will do my best to show you in a video of your own. But then we have even more. We have more items in Da Vinci's workshop. In the normal Mana Prism workshop, we have the Command code White Vessels Command Seal, as well as the Dragon Slayer Sword Command Code inside of the Rare Prism Exchange, as well as the Kalia Dinner Time being able to be unlocked for the first time. So if you missed out on that Mana Prism CE, you can go ahead and get it here. Unlock the ability to purchase with regular Mana Prisms, and you'll be good to go. And we can't have a unit based on Arthur without giving him a strengthening quest. His mana burst here will be increased to Sign of Red Dragon A. It increases his own buster performance and also adds, increases his own MP generation rate. Fantastic, makes him hit even harder and very good for those of you out there. And then finally, we have the summoning campaign, which is gonna be for, of course, our boy, Arthur Pendragon prototype, as well as all of the CEs in previous white days. If you need any more of those CEs, it's actually not a bad time to roll for this, but in all honesty, we have some new servers coming down the pipeline. Only roll for Arthur Pendragon if you feel like that you really want him, that he's your Hospondo, or you're just missing out on a good AOE saber. And just like that, we're all done. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video today. If you liked what you saw here, please consider leaving a comment down below to let me know what you like specifically. If you are interested in learning a little bit more about what to do in this game, or if you're brand new and you just discovered this channel, go ahead and hit this video right here. This is our beginner's guide. It goes over everything that you're gonna need to know to be able to get started and have the best start for you in this game. Until the next time, my friends, my name is Musaki from the Kaldi Gurus, and we're logging out. See ya.